Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, my name is Adeline. So today we are going through my Cezanne order that I made last week. I have four items that I'm definitely keeping. One that I'm sort of on the fence about and I just really need to hear some opinions on it and two pieces that I'm not keeping, but I'll show you anyway, just as a sizing reference and so how you can kind of see how they look on me if you're considering getting them yourself. And then of course we have a styling portion at the end where I have 10 outfits to show you with the pieces. So let's get into the first item. So the item that I want to start off with is the Betty cardigan. And does anyone else get the song Betty by Taylor Swift in their head when they say the name Betty or is that just me? Anyway, I wanted to start off with this item because it's probably one of my favorite items from Cezanne ever. I absolutely love this cardigan. It has been in my wish list for quite a long time now. They have this in quite a few different colors. I, of course, went for this sort of off-white ecru color. I have this in this size extra small. It is 100% merino wool and it is so comfortable to wear on your skin. I'm currently not wearing anything um, underneath it and it's just like, it's very, very comfortable and just smooth to wear. And I really like this sort of ecru off-white shade that it comes in. It's a lot softer than a sort of stark white color. And you can see on screen that I've just compared it to a really white, white shirt that I have. So you can kind of see the difference between the off-white and the stark white. The fit of it is slightly cropped, uh, which I really like, especially being five foot two. I think it hits me really nicely. It's right on my hip here. It has a very classic collar design. There's a sort of upturned cuff on the sleeve. Um, and there are five really beautiful kind of matte tortoise shell buttons going down the front. And I really like that the buttons are matte. I think it looks a little bit more expensive um, and it's sort of a very kind of subtle feeling about it. It also has these two kind of pockets at the front um, and it's just a very simple classic design. This is described as a cardigan because the weave of the wool is quite thin so it sort of fits like a cardigan but I love that it sort of looks like a more structured jacket on its first glimpse. I definitely think you could style this like a jacket which you will see in the styling portion at the end. It almost gives me like Chanel vibes, you know, they're very structured tweed jackets. So you may have noticed that I did wear this in my Chanel video where I talked about how I bought my vintage Chanel. And I just thought it was very fitting for that video. <laughs> so next up we have the Max shirt. And this is the oversized version of the Tomboy shirt, which I have worn a couple of times on my channel before. And I know quite a few of you have that shirt as well because it's just a very good, basic white shirt. And I know what you may be thinking, do I really need another white shirt in my wardrobe? But just hear me out. I actually don't have an oversized white shirt in my wardrobe. I have an oversized blue shirt, an oversized beige shirt, but I don't have an oversized white one. And I know how much I love my tomboy shirt. So this is actually made of exactly the same material. It's 100% cotton and it's really thick. And I just really like that in my tomboy shirt. So I knew that this was just gonna be a great addition. <laughs> It's not see-through at all, which a lot of white shirts can sometimes tend to be, but it's a very sort of thick material, thick piece of cotton, and I know that I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. So I went with a size 34, which is my normal size. I think on the website, Suzanne say to choose your normal size if you want that oversized fit, or if you want a slightly slimmer fit, you can go a size down. But because I was looking for that kind of oversized fit, I went for my normal size. And I'm going to compare this to the Tomboy shirt so you can see how the fits kind of differ. So on the left is the Max shirt, the oversized one, and on the right is the Tomboy shirt. And they are both in a size 34. And you can see that there is a more dropped shoulder on the Max shirt. 
it is definitely much longer in length and the sleeves also run slightly longer as well. They have the same pearl buttons down the front and also the same chest pocket on the left hand side. So overall you can see that the Max shirt is much more kind of relaxed and oversized compared to the Tomboy shirt. So I think it's a really kind of good addition into a white shirt collection because a white shirt is such a classic piece. All right, so changing up the gears a little bit here, I have on the gilly skirt. Um, mini skirts are definitely trending at the moment and I think this is a great one if you want to go and kind of delve into the mini skirt trend because it's such a classic design. This one is also 75% virgin wool and 25% recycled polyamide, so it's a really, really good buy. And it's also lined, so it's very sort of comfortable to wear um, if you're not wearing tights, like I am not at the moment. <laughs> the design features this really nice kind of wide waist belt, which is removable. So if you have another belt that you want to replace it with, you can definitely do that and kind of change up the whole outfit. It also has these two front pockets here and there are two faux pockets on the back, but I think it makes quite a nice sort of design feature. I love all the detailing in sort of the stitching and the piping. I think it makes a plain black skirt just, it just elevates it, makes it a bit more interesting to look at. And it's definitely a piece that you can dress up, dress down. I think you could definitely even wear this to work. So you know how excited I get about a piece that you can wear lots of different occasions. So yeah, this is, in my opinion, a really, really good mini skirt. Okay, so next up we have the Mickey jumper and I'm pretty sure they had this design last year but I missed out on buying it. I think maybe they had sold out of my size because I remember thinking I absolutely love this design so I'm really happy that I was able to get my hands on it this year. I think that this is such a cosy piece for winter. To be quite honest with you, I don't want it to get cold. I'm not ready for that but I do want it to get cold just so I can start wearing this jumper. <laughs> this one I got in an extra, extra small. So my past experiences with Suzanne have taught me <laughs> that their knitwear does sometimes run a little bit large. So previously I've bought an extra small, but I decided to go down even further in size. That was a lot of words for saying not very much. So I decided to go down one size um, and get an extra extra small so that it fits a little bit more kind of snug It's not too oversized. I feel like sometimes when I wear knitwear, I feel very bulky and big um, So I'm really glad that I went down a size because I really like the way this fits This one is made of mohair So you do have to be a little bit careful when you're wearing it with dark colors it says me wearing this with black jeans <laughs> but like I said, I just really, really like the design of it. I love this kind of collar detailing and you can button it up all the way so that it's nice and cozy when it gets really cold. I love the sort of bell sleeves. So I feel like Suzanne do really good sleeves. Um, so it kind of cuffs here at your wrist, but it sort of has this really nice kind of bell sleeve here um, on your arm. And just those small touches, those small details really make a difference in knitwear. I find it quite hard to shop for knitwear and Suzanne is always my go-to place. Okay, let me step back a little bit here. So the next item are these boots. And this is the item that I'm really kind of on the fence about. I don't know if I should keep them or not, so let's go through this together. So these are the Adele boots and they are so stunning and just really comfortable to wear actually. I have gone true to size with them and they fit perfectly around my calves, which I know I've spoken to a couple of you about. It's so hard to find knee-high boots that fit around our calves. Don't know why that's so difficult, but it is. I think that they are a really good heel height as well. They are five centimeters, which is very comfortable to wear during the day and it's kind of like not too dressy. But again, you can definitely wear them out at night as well. I honestly really do love them. They're just, they're really comfortable. And the reason why I'm on the fence about them is because they are suede. And in a country where it rains most days, 
I don't know if I can justify keeping them. I think that if I had a leather pair of knee-high boots, I would maybe consider keeping these as an alternative, but my head and my bank account <laughs> is telling me to prioritize a leather pair. And so that is what I'm sort of battling with at the moment. My heart says keep these, but my head and my bank account is like, no, you should search for a leather pair. But these really are a gorgeous and classic pair of boots. So if you are looking for a black suede pair, or not even just black, I think they come in brown as well. If you're looking for a suede pair, I would recommend these. I just don't know if I can keep them myself. <laughs> So let me know what you think. Should I keep them or should I hold out for a leather pair? Moving on to the items that I will not be keeping. I tried Cezanne's signature coat, the Johnson coat, and unfortunately, I will not be keeping it. Whilst it is a really kind of beautiful, classic, and well-made coat, it's just not for me. So I got a size six. It fits really well on my shoulders. Uh, the sleeves are a little long, but nothing too crazy. And I do really like this kind of double-breasted button detailing at the front. I think it's a very smart, tailored, kind of classic coat. And this sort of straight cut black coat is on my coat wish list this year, which I will talk about more in my next video. So subscribe if you wanna see that. But for me, there's just something about this coat that doesn't kind of work for me. I feel like in theory, I should love this coat because it is what I'm looking for. But when I put it on, I feel very indifferent about it. I don't love it, I don't hate it, I just feel sort of meh about it. If you are looking for this sort of coat, then I think definitely try it out. It is just a very kind of timeless design and I think that it would suit most people. But for me, I think I'm looking for something a bit more structured, a bit longer. I think that's also one thing I'm looking for, something a bit longer. Um, but let me know what you think. Is this something that you want to try? This is how it looks on me. <laughs> so whilst I think Cezanne have some really, really great designs and I absolutely love their knitwear, the one category that I have never really had a great experience with are trousers but I thought I would give it one more try. I really liked the way these looked online and so I thought I would try the Gustavo trousers. I really like the shade of gray that these came in. This kind of dark gray color is definitely on my wish list for trousers and so that's why I was like, you know what? Maybe this will be it. <laughs> Maybe they'll fit. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> they don't. I just think that they fit me very, very strangely. I ordered a size six, which is my normal size, and the waist is too big. There's a lot happening in the crotch area, but at the same time, I think the bum and the legs are too tight. On the model, they fit a lot sort of looser, and I mean, obviously the models are a lot taller and a lot more slender than I am, so maybe that is the body type that these trousers are intended for and not my sort of petite body type. That's fine. That is just how they fit on me. If you are a similar size to me or a similar body type, then let's maybe try and find another cut of trousers to go for and not these. Now onto the styling portion of this video. For this first outfit, I've paired the ghillie skirt and the max shirt together. I think that this is the perfect base and a timeless combination. Depending on how you accessorize, this base can really take you anywhere. I've added in my silk scarf on my neck. I think it makes the outfit more interesting. And I'm wearing it with my dear Francis boots to elongate my legs. This next outfit is a really easy, comfortable one. I have on the Betty cardigan and I've dressed it up in a really relaxed way with these camel trousers. On a sunny and dry autumn day, I would pair it with ballet flats like I've done here. Otherwise, I definitely think you could wear these with loafers. For a casual look, I've paired the Mickey jumper with a pair of straight leg jeans. 
To keep things really clean and minimal, I've worn this outfit with my white Vega sneakers and white Oleada bag. I like that the white accessories bring out the cream in the jumper. Add a coat over the top and you are good to go. This might be my favorite outfit in this video. I have unbuttoned the Betty cardigan here to wear it like a jacket. I just love how versatile this piece is. It looks really smart but effortless at the same time. As I said before, I just think that the cropped shape works really well for us petite girls. A complete Cezanne look here, I have on the Mickey jumper, the ghillie skirt and the Adele boots. As the skirt is really short, wearing a big jumper on top helps to balance out the proportion of this outfit. I personally wouldn't wear something tight on top with the short skirt. And the boots, my heart loves these boots so much. They are so comfortable and really easy to dress up this outfit. When I have a top that is quite smart, I like to dress it down with some ripped denim. I think that the contrast of these two styles looks really effortless. I've added in chunky loafers to dress it down even further, and I think that this is a great way to dress down any of your smarter pieces. With short skirts, I like to balance out the look with a high neck. This cashmere vest that I got from Cos last month has been one of the best buys this autumn. I've been wearing it endlessly. Paired here with a blazer on top and chunky loafers, I think this is a really great transitional look. Another way that I would wear these boots that I can't decide if I should keep or not. I love the look of wearing long boots with a long skirt. I have on my trusty silk dress here and this is one of the best purchases that I have ever made. I really like that, although the boots and the dress are both black, the different textures in the silk and the suede still make the outfit interesting. You all know that I love a tonal look. When in doubt, go tonal and that is a surefire way to look put together. I have on here the Max shirt, Mickey jumper and chinos from Cos. With an outfit like this, I think it's all in the details, otherwise it has the potential to be a bit boring. So for example, putting the collar of the shirt up or cuffing the shirt outside of the jumper to give the outfit some depth and dimension. This is another one of those combinations that never fails when you don't know what to wear. I rely on timeless pieces so that I have less stress in my life, especially when it comes to getting dressed. A crisp white shirt, cropped trousers, and a structured blazer will always look good. If you fancy some more styling inspiration, you can check out this video where I style this same tweed blazer in seven ways. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.